Bundy throws a baseball up at 15 meters per second, and the baseball has a mass of 0.15 kilograms. How high does it go? So we can use conservation of energy to figure this out. Initial energy equals final en energy. No energy is lost anywhere. So we can say initial energy, E naught, equals E final. So the initial energy is, if we say our starting point is that, we have no potential energy because the height is zero. All we have is kinetic energy. So we can say one half mv squared plus m g h equals one half m v squared plus m g h. So this is v initial, height initial, v final, height final. Okay. So that's this is our start. This is our stop. Initial, final. Okay. So initially we have zero height. So that's that whole term is zero. Finally, we have, up here we have zero velocity, so this whole term is zero. So our actual formula becomes one half m v naught squared is equal to m g height final. Now m's cancel out. We don't even need the mass, so we have v naught squared over two equals g times final height. Final height is equal to v naught squared over 2g when I divide the g over. So I'll plug in our numbers. v naught is 15. So 15 squared over 2 times 9.8. Now we put that in our calculator and we get a number of 11.5 meters. So the final height 11.5 meters. Okay, the second part of this question asks, if it only goes 9 meters, what's, what is the work done due to air resistance? What is the force due to air resistance? Okay, now work is just the, uh, the energy lost. The work done is energy lost in whatever air resistance or sound, however it's lost, it's lost. So we have energy initial equals energy final. So our, our energy has to be conserved. We, we don't actually lose it, it's just converted into different spots. So our energy initial is still just our initial energy from the kinetic energy, one half m v naught squared, and it doesn't go quite as high, so where, we're, where this energy is going into is the work done by the air resistance. So this is equal to our final energy, which is gonna be mgh, because it's not moving anymore, H final plus work done by air resistance. All right, so we know one half mv squared. We know mgh. We need to find the work done. Work is force times distance. So we have one half m v naught squared. I'm going to subtract m g h final on this side. This is then work done by the air. This is force of air resistance times the distance. And we know the distance to be nine meters, so we just call that height, HF, because that's just the distance it goes. So we can divide over, so we find the force by air resistance is one half m v naught squared minus m g h final divided by h final. Plug our numbers in, we get one half. Mass of the baseball is 0.15. The initial velocity is 15 squared minus mass of 0.15 times g of 9.8 times final height of 9 meters, all divided by 9 meters. So we get an air resistance force of 0.405